So we've got R1, R2, and R3, and um, we, we want to get our total resistance. So by now, uh, we know that for, the, for R1, we label here positive, negative. Um, we label R2 as well, positive, negative, and R3. So in order for us to connect in series, um, we are going to take, this is the positive of the ohm meter. The positive goes to positive of R1. Um, the negative of R1 goes to positive of R2. The negative of R3 goes to positive of R3. Then the negative, the negative of R3 goes to negative of our ohm meter. Uh, you yeah. know, practically, um, just... guys, please try to mute yourself. Don't forget we are recording. Eh? Try to mute. Um, so practically, we, we know that this is positive and this is negative. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start. I'm going to start. Now, do, do you see on the ohm meter? What value do we see there for the ohm meter? What value do we see there? 50,000 ohms. No, no, it's actually, it's 49. It's 49 ohms. It's 49.000, ne? So it's 49 ohms in total. Do you see? Uh, but don't forget, when you calculated, uh, when you calculate and when you measure, your, your values must align. Uh, are we together? So this is total resistance. Do you see it? Forget about the 000, zero, zero ne? Just focus on the 49. So we have 49 ohms in total. Are we together, guys? Yes. All right. Yes, so this, this is total resistance. This is total resistance.